Hey guys, what's up, Angus here. Got another review today. This review is uh, going to be a pretty cool one considering Christmas is coming up. So if you're looking for a nice AEG, that's a G36. We have a very nice one to show you today. Now, the review we are going to be doing today is of the SRC slash TSD, TSD rebrands and distributes this product. MK36, it's a G36E. Thank you for pointing that out to me, the guy in the comments. Uh, got screwed up there with uh, different model variant types. Anyway, it is sold by TSD, but it's actually made by SRC. Having TSD's name on your box is not a bad thing. Unlike other rebranding companies like Echo One, they don't jack up your price. They actually keep it the same price as the original gun and include quite a few bonuses. So you can pick this gun up from Airsoft Station from 100 for $165. And this is a very nice gun, so let's get into this review. For starters, let's open up the box and see what is included when you purchase this gun from AirsoftStation.com for $165. The box, your G36E, will come in as a pretty simple box, looks exactly like any other TSD product box. It's a standard cardboard box, got a bunch of specs down here, black and white picture of the gun, and other than that, it's just a solid cardboard box, nothing special about it. When you open up the box, this is what you should see. Inside the box, there is your TSD MK36 owner's manual. This is a pretty simplistic manual, tells you how to do simple stuff, how to put your battery in, fill your magazines. Uh, it's actually pretty helpful, though. Good instructions, good pictures, decent manual from TSD. A fairly long cleaning and a jamming rod. A small box of about 100 SRC, 0.2 gram BBs. These are fine, you can use them. And then if you buy this airsoft gun from airsoftstation.com, you will get a free bag of 5,000, 0.2 gram TSD BBs. These are very, very good BBs. Highly recommend you use them from TSD. Then you'll have a really cool bonus item in here. This is a black flash hider for the G36. You can swap out the ugly orange one, put on a black flash hider for your games. It's an SRC G36 flash hider. Another bonus from TSD is that it includes two magazines. These are 470 round plastic high capacity G36 magazines. TSD includes two of them in the package. And then there is your TSD slash SRC MK36 G36E itself. Again, guys, this gun is actually made by SRC. However, TSD does distribute it as their own gun. Uh, and again, they do include quite a few bonuses there. When you first take this thing to the box, you're really going to like the feel of it, especially if you do get this on Christmas Day. Everybody likes getting their gun on Christmas Day. They think it's awesome. Uh, feels very, very nice. Construction's great on it when you first take it out of the box. Weight isn't too hefty, not too light. has a decent weight to it, and it's just got a nice feel. I'm not too big of a fan of a G36, considering a lot of people own them. I like stuff that's original, but this one looks very, very cool when you take it from the box, and it also feels very, very nice. Now into the actual review, let's talk about this gun's construction. Construction-wise, it's going to be a little bit of a turn-off for us some buyers considering the majority of the gun is of a plastic construction made of a durable polymer it's not a cheap polymer but it is plastic polymer upper low receiver they're both polymer carrying handle up top is polymer scopes polymer 20 millimeter rails metal as with the flash hider and the barrel stock is going to be polymer as well and magazine again is plastic so only a few items on here are made of metal the majority of the gun is of a higher end polymer uh, it's durable it's not cheap, but most players typically want metal. However, you're going to have to settle for polymer if you're going to get this gun. Internally, however, we get a metal hop-up unit. We also have a version 3 reinforced metal gearbox with steel bushings. Very nice SRC motor in it. Internally, this gun is fine. It's got a metal internals. That's what you want to worry about. Externally, it's still durable. Internally, it is metal. So, construction-wise, you're getting a polymer external quality, and then internally, you're going to have a nice version 3 gearbox. Now the first thing you're going to want to know before you get in the field, how do I put the battery into my G36E? So let's go into depth on that. The first step to putting the battery into your G36E is pulling the handguard pin out. This is what holds the handguard on. You will have to push it from the right side with your finger. If you can't fit your finger in there, you're going to have to use some Allen key or something to push it out. Once you have it sticking out of the left side of the gun, simply pull it out and your handguard will begin to slip off. Now, in order to pull the handguard completely off, you're going to need to push the barrel up a little bit so that the handguard can get over one of the pieces of the barrel that's sticking down in order to secure the handguard even further if you were to lose that pin. So keep pushing the barrel upward and pulling the handguard off. This will take a little bit of time, and eventually your handguard will come off. Now, here's your handguard. Again, it is constructed of polymer. This is where your battery is going to go. However, since you do have to hold the whole barrel assembly in there, Battery space is very, very limited on this gun. It's an extremely tight cramp. That's one of the complaints a lot of people have about the gun. It's just basically this down lower area about here. That's how much battery space you have. So you cannot hold a very large battery in here. It's going to be a small, kind of a small, very small battery pack you're going to be housing in there. As for the battery we can get to fit in there, this battery you'd recommend purchasing. It is a 9.6 Intellect 
1600 milliamp nunchuck battery. As you can see, it's got four cells on each side, and this is basically what you can house a four cell battery. So, I highly recommend a nunchuck unless you want to try it in a small 8.4 in there, or I'd recommend a 9.6, considering the gun's rate of fire is a little bit low. And again, battery space is very, very limited. So, as you can see, this is really the maximum thing you're going to be able to hold in there. In order to put the battery in, you want to slip it down into the bottom of the handguard. You're going to then connect the small type connectors, and then you'd slide the handguard back on. You want to slip your handguard back on, make sure your wires are all tucked in. This will be a lot tougher if you were to have the battery actually in. And once you get the handguard all the way back on, you're going to want to take that pin that you originally took out and insert it back in from the left side of the gun. At that point, the handguard will be secured back onto your G36E. Your battery should be in, and you will be capable of firing this AEG. So battery space, very, very limited. It's a bit of a con for the gun. Now that we're done talking about the gun's construction and how to put the battery into the AEG, let's get into some of the gun's features. Some of the main features are the gun's fire slicker switch. As you can see, it's located on the left side of the gun here. However, it is also located on the right side of the gun. It is an ambidextrous fire selector switch, as with all basically G36 variants. And as you can see, if I were to move the selector switch on the left side of the gun, it would also move on the right side of the gun. Settings of the fire selector switch are standard with basically every airsoft gun out there. Crossed out bullet is safe. Trigger going to be pulled. Flip it down onto the next setting. It's going to be semi-automatic. It'll fire one BB each time the trigger is squeezed. Flip it all the way down. You're going to be on fully automatic with the 9.6 that fits in this gun. The gun will be shooting around 800 rounds per minute, so a little bit in the low of the ROF side. However, fully automatic, still a decent job. You're going to be able to take out your opponent. Fire slicker switch feels a little strange to me, like it could get stuck inside each setting. However, besides that, it's fine. It's not cheap. It's not going to break off it. Now, moving on to another key feature, it's going to be the gun's magazine, magazine well. In order to eject your magazine, you're going to want to push the paddle in. Magazine will eject, as you can see. TSD does include two of these. This is a 470 round high capacity G36 magazine. It is again constructed of plastics, a little bit of a con there to some buyers. It is also smoked, so that way you can slightly see through it. You can tell how much ammunition you have left in the magazine. It's a standard high cap, fill it up top, push this open, dump your BBs inside. You're going to want to wind the magazine at the bottom. Gear's a little bit tough, and then flip it over, and the BBs will feed through the top. Now, as you can see, it has these little hooks on the sides here. That is so you can hook your G36 mags together. You can hook these in a row and have like five of them down below your gun so you don't have to bother wearing a vest. You can just simply pull it out and then switch to the next mag in the row. So if you bought more G36 mags, you can have them all hooked up together, but you already have two. Now, putting the magazine in, simply take it, BBN towards the front, push it in. Now, the magazine does have a bit of wobble in this gun. We've tried other JG mags and all that. Any magazine is really going to wobble inside the mag well. That's a little bit of a disadvantage there. So magazine does have some wobble inside the magazine well. But otherwise, no feeding issues with the magazines. 470 round high cap, good amount. And they are decent quality. A main feature of this G36 is that it does have a folding stock. This allows you to go into CQB a lot easier considering this gun shooting around 340 feet per second with an M110 spring. So you could use it in CQB if you really wanted to. Folding stock, again made of polymer. In order to make it fold over, you have to push this small button right here and begin to fold the stock over. And as you can see, your stock will begin to fold over like so. The stock folds onto the right side of the gun. As you can see, it does jiggle around a little bit so it's not exactly firmly hooked. Hooks onto a small piece up here onto the stock. As for the stock coming undone, shaking it around really isn't going to get it to come undone. In order to push it out, simply stick your hand in push it over. There's not anything you have to unlatch. Swing it in, hear that click, that means the stock is back out in its full position. When it's out there, the only chance of this thing coming undone is if you really, really push on it, or if you simply push that button. Out in its full position, the stock is very sturdy. On the side, eh, it could do better, but the stock, in other words, is fine. Now, a unique feature of this G36 that makes it cost $165 over its $140 to $150 counterpart is that it does have a built-in zoom scope. This is one of the main cons a lot of people complain about on all the forums I've visited, and the reason for that, I believe, is that the people think they're getting an amazing, you know, sniper scope they can snipe with. It's nothing special, guys. It's a three times magnification zoom scope. Give you a little look from the front here. It does have the crosshairs in there so that you can line up with your opponent, but it's not anything amazingly special. It's a nice advantage to have this thing on here. 
considering it gives you an optic, you don't have to buy another one. However, if you really don't like it that much, I don't have a problem with it. The gun does feature a 20 millimeter metal rail up top so that you can buy another optic to place up there just in case you don't like the scope. But the scope is fine in my opinion. I really don't see what the big problem about it is. This gun's hop up unit, as I already mentioned, is metal. You can access the hop up in order to adjust it. By pulling back the charging handle up here, it is ambidextrous. You can pull it back from either side with either hand, should you be a right-handed or left-handed player. It does lock back, so you can work on your hop-up. I really wouldn't consider this a bolt catch, but in order to lock it back, simply pull the charging handle straight back, push it down. The front of the charging handle will get hooked in a small notch, exposing your hop-up unit, which I'll zoom in on for you now. And there is your hop-up unit. Again, it is metal. In order to adjust it, simply move the wheel with your finger. In order to release the charging handle, all you got to do is push up a little bit and it will shoot forward as they are covering up your hop-up unit once again. Now that we've talked about all the features of the G36E by TSD and SRC, let's go into the final conclusion of this review. Now, first thing we're going to talk about in the conclusion is the gun's construction. Externally, it's of a polymer material. There isn't a whole lot of metal on this gun that does reduce the weight a little bit, makes it a lot lighter if you're playing CQB, you want something that's lighter. However, a lot of people aren't going to be happy with that considering they want something that is metal. However, Palmer is still durable. It's not cheap. It's not going to break on you. The metal pieces are very solid. They don't jiggle barrels, not jiggle at all. Internally, the gun has a very nice internals. Version 3 reinforced metal gearbox with that M110 spring. Allows it to shoot around 340 feet per second. Steel bushings, nice internally, good externals. Moving on to the features, we have an ambidextrous fi fire slicker switch, which is a very nice advantage considering you can use this whether or not you're a right or left-handed player, or if you're just an ambidextrous player such as myself. Standard settings of the fire slicker switch, a little bit of a con that I feel like it could get stuck in between the settings, moving it around. Magazine, this is where you're going to have a little bit more trouble, considering the magazine does wobble a little bit in the well. That's going to be a turnoff to some people. It's a plastic magazine, 470 rounds. TSD does include two of them when you buy the gun that has been distributed and sold by them. A nice advantage of the magazine is smoked, so you can see how much BBs you have left inside. Hop-up unit is metal. In order to lock it open, simply push the charging handle back and lock it into place. It will keep your hop-up unit open so it's easier to work on. Nice advantage of this gun, the scope comes attached to it. A lot of people complain about it. I don't see what the big deal is. I feel a three times magnification scope is a very nice advantage. It has the crosshairs. It's accurate. It's zoomed in great with the gun. It works fine. Really don't see any complaint with it. It's because of the scope. The gun does not have a front sight on it. If you don't like the scope that much, you get a 20 millimeter metal rail up top to mount any optic you want. Folding stock here, it is Palmer construction again, so a very nice quality there. It's not cheap. In order to make it fold, simply push on the button, swings over. That's a big adventure of playing close quarters battle, so you can have a smaller gun, fold the stock over. Stock, when it's folded, is a little bit jiggly, but what are you going to do? As for battery space, you're a little bit cramped there, so you can only fit a decent sized smaller battery in there. And overall, it's just a very, very nice gun from TSD. TSD rebrands and distributes some great stuff. They also sweeten the pot quite a bit with those incentives with the spare mags and also their excellent warranty. And also, guys, you buy this gun from Airsoft Station, you're getting 5,000 free TSD .2 gram BBs. That's a very big incentive to buy it from there. It's only $165 at airsoftstation.com. Very nice gun. Add something to your Christmas list. Pick up this G36E by TSD today. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you like this video.